Welcome back, sports fans. Chase Clem here with the Rockwood Sports Network, bringing you a new segment, Goal to Goal, with head coach John Webb. Coach, welcome back. I appreciate it, Chase. Thank you all. Coach, uh, we talk a lot about stuff throughout the season, what's going on now, uh, but we've, we've never really talked about you and your story on getting here as the head coach. Just kind of walk us through your career as a player, as a college player, and how you wound up at Rockwood High School. Well, I was here. I was born and raised here. You know, played, uh, you know, high school ball here and was lucky enough to be able to go out and uh, to Tennessee Tech and, you know, play four years there and knew that was something I was wanting to do, you know, come back and be a coach. Didn't know exactly where at that time and, uh, you know, but just the way it happened, I got to come back. I've left a couple of times and been here ever since. You know, I just seem to find my way back each time I leave. Yeah, Coach, you've been the head coach since 1996. A lot of times, you know, the dean of uh, the dean of Roan County, the second most wins in Roan County, uh, a big name in 2A football. What do you credit that that longevity to, the, the familiarity with the program and just the consistency throughout the years? Well, you know, first of all, you know, I took the job for a year, and that's the honest truth. You know, I took it. Uh, you know, there were some things going on at that time, and, um, you know, I was, I was in the right – spot at the right time I guess is what you'd say and um, you know never really expected to be here but you know I'm from here you know love it it's my hometown and uh, I've had a lot of great coaches had a lot of great football players here you know that's made it you know a lot uh, you know me to able to stay here and do the things I've done. Coach let's talk about last year for a minute you scored a ton of points last year the third most in school history Jaden Hannibal, Zadrian Ficky, all sorts of people, Dakota Waldo, Dryston Turner. How do you build off that and carry that into this upcoming season? Well, it's just something that, you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. You know that. You know, we've evolved in some of the things that we've done. and uh, But, you know, having people like, you know, uh, Zadrian and Jaden Hannibal and, you know, Don Moran, you know, we're going to really miss those guys. But we got some guys that are really capable this year, you know, with Dryston and Pudge and uh, Dakota Waldo and, you know, Brody, my son, and uh, Eric. Thurman and uh, Hayden McLean, you know, so we still got some guys that can play the game of football, and that's something that, you know, they just got to continue to buy in and do the things that we want them to do, and I think we'll be okay. Coach, one thing looking forward to this season, hopefully some stability at the quarterback position this season. I know last year that was uh, a revolving door at times, so hopefully we get some more of that this season. Well, there was a lot of things that, you know, played into that last year, and, you know, that's a tribute to the guys that we had go in and play quarterback. You know, we don't have – five quarterbacks here at Rockwood High School, I can assure you that, and you all know that. Y'all been here for a long time as well, but uh, it's just one of those things that's tribute to the kids, that they pay attention. You know, obviously can't give them the reps, but was able to come in, and, you know, when we had some injuries and some things happened to us last year, they was able to come in and, and fill that role and, and do a great job with it. Coach, last Friday night was the Jamboree. What were some of the takeaways you you took away from the Jamboree? I know it's it's one quarter of football. Uh, you're trying to get kids reps, but what were some of your takeaways from Friday night? Well, you know, again, Jamborees are just kind of dress rehearsals. You know, it's, uh, you know, put on the game uniform, uh, going playing in front of a big crowd, getting on a bus and doing that. You know, that's, um, you know, you don't hardly get out there before it's over with. You you know that. You played in a few yourself. And, uh you know, but it's, it is good. It's a, it's a fun time, you know, uh, for kids to be seen, you know, showcased. If I was a fan, I'd love to go to them and see all the different teams and stuff like that. But, it, it you know, it, it is what it is. We didn't get a whole lot of plays in, but we was able to do a few things and, you know, get it accomplished in other ways. Well, Coach, it's game week. I know you've been looking forward to that. The players definitely have. Is it the same game week that it's always been? Are we light today, offense, defense, walkthrough game, or – What's it looking like? Well, we went ahead and started it, you know, this week. Uh, you know, we've done it different ways in the past, but I went ahead and, you know, what I'm going to be doing next week after the Auburn Springs game, I went ahead and, and started it today. You know, we got in, got a good lift in. We got some conditioning in. Uh, we installed the game plan. We got in the weight room, you know, or in the film room. And, uh, you know, got we got several things accomplished. Tried to keep it a little bit light. You know, next couple of days, you know, it'll be a little different for us. We'll, we'll start doing more and more. Coach, as we wrap up, what's something that Oliver Springs brings to the table that we're going to have to defend? Uh, we're going to have to be better at them out to come away with the first victory of the season. Well, I tell you what, you know, Oliver Springs, they're young in a lot of spots. You know, they've got a young football team overall, uh, but they do have some experience coming back. Those kids are playing hard, you know, what we've seen in preseason out of them. Uh, you know, they've got a new coach, Coach Harper. You know, he's obviously got them buying into what he's trying to do. And, uh, you know, they're, they're playing hard, so we're going to have to go out and play as hard as we can as well. All right, Coach. Well, hey, thanks for joining us on this first segment of Goal to Goal. We've reached the end zone, something I didn't do a lot in my career, but, hey, we did it today. I'm Chase Clem. Join us Friday night at Civitan Field. 
This is the Rockwood Sports Network.